Hey friends, welcome to the first video in the NAT on Cisco IOS routers module. In this lesson, we'll be talking about the terminology that Cisco IOS uses when discussing network address translation. Cisco likes to use two sets of two terms to label all the attributes involved in network address translation. Those two sets of terms are inside versus outside and local versus global. We'll explain what each of these mean using this topology. So the first set of terms refer to where does the host physically sit? What is the physical location of the host we're referring to? We have two options, inside or outside. Inside is typically what is refer referenced as the network behind the router. So if we were to identify between host A or server B, who was the inside host, host A would be our inside host because host A is physically sitting behind our router. On the other side, out on the internet would be server B. Now, if we shoot a packet between host A and host B, when we send that packet from host A, it would look something like this. It would have a source IP address of 10.1.1.11, that's host A's IP address, and a source port of 3.3.3.3. Again, that is randomly selected by host A. And it would have a destination IP address of server B, 82.6.4.2. Uh, and this is a port 80 request, so this is probably an HTTP packet. Either way, when this packet hits the router, if the router is doing network address translation, certain attributes in that packet are going to change. Most commonly, the source is going to change. Notice 10.1.1.11 port 3.3.3 was translated to 73.8.2.11 port 3.3.3.3. Now let's talk about those addresses for a second. Both this address, 10.1.1.11, and this address, 73.8.2.11, both belong to a host that physically sits on the inside network. Both of those addresses belong to host A. But they are different depending upon if you're looking at it, looking at the addresses before translation versus after translation. That's why you need the second set of terms. This set of terms refer to the perspective you're viewing the attributes from. So our category of inside is actually broken up into two different categories. The inside global address which is how you view host A on the public internet and the inside local address, which is how you view host A on the local network itself. Which means the inside local address for this translation is 10.1.1.11. It's attributes that belong to a host which is physically sitting on the inside network as viewed from the inside network. And the inside global address which is attributes which belong to a host that is physically sitting on the inside network as viewed from the global perspective. Works the same way with server B. Server B, the outside host, is also going to be split up into two categories. The outside local, which is what server B looks like on our local network, or the outside global, which is what server B looks like on the external global internet. So if we list out those attributes, this is how they would fill into the table. The outside local address would be this guy right here, and then the outside global address would be this guy right here. Now when host B receives that packet, it's going to respond, and that response is going to be the same as the original packet except the source and the destination are going to be flipped. Notice what was the source here is the destination here, and what was the destination here is the source here. When this response packet hits the router, the router is going to untranslate it back into the same attributes that were used for the original outbound packet. So here, we've just mapped out the entire packet flow of a packet from host A to server B through a NAT device, in this case a router, and the response packet back from server B. We use this to identify the inside local address, which was translated to the inside global address, again, both of them are IP addresses which belong to host A. One of them is as it's viewed locally versus globally. And we also identified the outside local address and the outside global address. Now let's focus on those outside addresses for a minute. Some of you may have noticed that the actual attributes haven't actually changed. Most of the time, that'll be the case. Because typically when you're doing a network address translation, you're really only concerned with translating the source of the outbound packet, not necessarily the destination. 
However, if you're doing something like a twice NAT, which involves you changing both the source and the destination, then you would see where the outside local and the outside global don't match up with identical attributes. Here, you have an example of the router translating both the source and the destination. That is why you have a different outside local than you do an outside global. A potential use case for this is maybe you've set aside this private address 10.9.9.2 so it looks like the server you're communicating with exists somewhere on a private network. But in reality, because we can see the topology, we know for a fact the server physically exists on the outside. So 10.9.9.2 would be a host that physically exists on the outside as seen from the local perspective. To summarize, there are four total terms which are made from the combination of these two sets of two terms. You have the inside global and the inside local. Both of those are in reference to hosts that physically sit on the inside. One of them is looking at it from the outside perspective and the other one is looking at it from the inside perspective. And we have the outside local and the outside global. Both of them are in reference to hosts that physically sit on the outside. But one of them is what they look like on the inside perspective, and the other one is what they look like from the outside perspective. That wraps up the lecture of our first video in this module. The key takeaway is understanding the definition of the terms inside local, inside global, outside local, outside global. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.